Our eyes are remarkable organs, allowing us to perceive the world around us. However, occasionally, we may experience unusual visual phenomena such as floaters and flashes. While they are generally harmless, they can be disconcerting. In this video, we will delve into the world of floaters and flashes, exploring their causes, symptoms, and available treatment options. I. What are floaters? Floaters are small specks, strands, or cobweb-like structures that appear to float in our visual field. These objects can vary in size, shape, and transparency, and are most noticeable when looking at a bright, uniform background, such as a clear sky or a white wall. Floaters are caused by tiny clumps of gel or cells within the vitreous humor, a jelly-like substance that fills the inside of our eyes. A. Causes of floaters. 1. Age-related changes. As we age, the vitreous humor undergoes changes, becoming more liquid and developing a stringy texture. 1. These changes can lead to the formation of floaters. 2. Posterior vitreous detachment, PVD. PVD occurs when the vitreous humor separates from the retina, which can cause floaters to appear. 2. This is a common occurrence in older individuals but can also be experienced by younger people in certain cases. 3. Eye trauma. Injury to the eyes can cause floaters to develop, particularly if it affects the vitreous humor or the retina. B. Symptoms of floaters. 1. Specks, strands, or cobweb-like structures drifting across the visual field. 2. Floaters tend to move as your eyes move. 3. More noticeable in well-lit environments or when looking at bright backgrounds. 4. Floaters can be more prominent when looking at a computer screen or reading. 2. What are flashes? Flashes are sudden and brief bursts of light or sparkles that appear in the peripheral vision. They can be described as seeing a camera flash or lightning bolt. Unlike floaters, flashes are not caused by objects within the eye but rather by the stimulation of the retina cells. A. Causes of flashes. 1. Traction on the retina. When the vitreous humor shrinks or detaches from the retina, it can pull on the retina, leading to the perception of flashes. 2. Retinal detachment. A more serious condition, retinal detachment occurs when the retina separates from the back of the eye, and it can be accompanied by flashes of light. 3. Migraine. Some people experience flashes of light during migraine episodes, known as migraine with aura. B. Symptoms of flashes. 1. Brief bursts of light or sparkles in the peripheral vision. 2. Flashes can be more noticeable in low-light environments or when the eyes are closed. 3. Flashes may be accompanied by other visual disturbances during a migraine episode. 3. When to seek medical attention. While floaters and flashes are often harmless, certain circumstances warrant immediate medical attention. Consult an eye care professional if you experience any of the following. 1. Sudden onset of a large number of floaters. 2. A sudden increase in the size or intensity of floaters. 3. Flashes that persist for an extended period. 4. The perception of a shadow or curtain descending over your field of vision. 5. Loss of peripheral vision or a sudden decrease in overall vision. IV. Treatment options. In most cases, floaters and flashes do not require treatment and gradually become less bothersome over time. However, if they significantly affect your daily life, your eye care professional may recommend the following options. 1. Observation. Your eye care professional may suggest monitoring the floaters and flashes for any changes while ensuring there are no underlying eye conditions. 1. Surgery. In severe cases or when a retinal detachment is present, surgical intervention may be necessary to remove the floaters or repair the retina. Floaters and flashes in the eyes, though often harmless, can cause concern and affect our visual experience. Understanding their causes, symptoms, and available treatment options can provide reassurance and help differentiate between normal occurrences and situations that require medical attention. If you have any concerns about your eyesight, it is always best to consult with an eye care professional for an accurate diagnosis and appropriate guidance.